I have been in this country 26 years. I came with a passport and visa, everything, and I stay here. I decided to stay at the six months when I had to go back to my country. My mommy was asking me, but my mom passed away four months ago. And the immigration said that they can do anything with that problem because it's like everything going Daddy, to the crash. My condolences on your mother. Okay, now Thank a couple you. questions. Where are you from? Colombia. And when did you come to the United States? 1998. How did you come here? With visa. I How came old? like a Chilean because I have two citizenships. Okay. How old were you? I was 36. Okay. How did your mom get her green card? I know she was a citizen. My sister, my, sister. she came on the 2000, okay. and my sister is American, and uh -huh. she asked her, and she uh, got the papers where my sister was living. Okay. When did your mother file papers for you? Two months before Donald Trump was going to be the president. Okay. Was the I-130 visa petition approved? Yeah, they sent me the approbation, the immigration okay. and everything. So, so this, is, this is what's going to happen. You're going to get a green mm -hmm. card. This is why you call Brad and you don't call immigration. Because when you speak to immigration, they give you wrong advice. Uh -huh. When your mother passed away and you have an approved I-130 visa petition and you were physically in the United States, you qualify to continue that case based on something called Section 204L. And what 204L says is if you're in the U.S. and your parent passes away or your relative passes away who filed for you, you could have another relative complete the case. So you could have your sister step into the shoes of your deceased mom and complete the case for you. Very simple. Number two, because you're out of status and, you, and I don't know whether or not you qualify to adjust, it doesn't sound like you're going to qualify to adjust your status here. You would have to go back to Columbia to pick up your green card and you need what's called a provisional waiver based on hardship to your mother, that she would suffer a hardship if you went home and didn't come back and then all your immigration violations are waived. But you can't do that waiver anymore because your mom passed away. But under mm -hmm. Section 404 l it says if you file that waiver, it's automatically approved. I was reading the DACA thing. And in the DACA, that it doesn't have to do uh, anything with me, it was saying that people, everybody who's coming to the country with a visa and is staying after the six months, they don't have to go outside the country to get a visa or paper. I don't know what you're reading, but that's just completely incorrect. Okay, number one. Number two, you're getting all wrong information. You got wrong information from immigration and you're getting wrong information from whoever you're speaking to and wherever you're reading. You will get a green card through section 204L. Call me. I just explained to you how. Your sister's going to substitute in. You're going to get a provisional waiver approved. It's automatically approvable. You're going to go back. Yeah, to but my get... sister has to. Sorry, Brad. But my sister has to. My sister is not working. And her yes. husband, neither. he's retired, but they, are, they don't have the money to be my sponsors. Yes. Well, okay. So then your sister will be your sponsor and you'll get a second sponsor who, with, from somebody who has money. Anybody in the United States can do it and be a second sponsor for you. Oh, really? It could be a friend? Friend. Yep. Be happy. Put a smile on your face. You're going to get a green card through <laughs> Section 204L. Hold on one second. 